Hey guys, I'm Gurveer and I'm covering the topic principal value branch from the chapter inverse trigonometric functions. What is principal value branch? The set of ranges of all inverse trigonometric functions is called the principal value branch. It is a very important topic in this chapter. Now, what is domain? The domain of a function is the complete set of possible values of the independent variable which is the x axis values now what is the range the range of a function is the complete set of all possible resulting values of the dependent variable which is the dependent variable it is the y axis values now these were the definitions that we had to know before starting our topic now on the left hand side it is the table for the domain and range of simple trigonometric functions as we all know that trigonometric functions are not one one and not all two that means for different set of functions they may have one value it implies that it is difficult to find an inverse so in order to find an inverse we fix their domains it seems very very difficult but it is very easy to learn now let's take an example of sin x so in the graph of sin x we can see that its domain is from Minus pi by two to pi by two. It is because in this domain it does not repeat any value, and it also covers its range that is from minus one to one. So this is how we find the domain and range of sine x. Now, in order to find the domain and range of sine inverse x, the domain of sine x becomes the range or the principal value branch of sine inverse x, and the range of sine x becomes the domain of sine inverse x. So here the domain is from minus one to one. and the principal value branches from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 now this is how we find the domain and range of inverse trigonometric functions so in the table the circled functions which are sin inverse x cosecant inverse x and tan inverse x are three best friends and they always stay together and they have similar ranges so the principal value branch of sin inverse x is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and it is in closed interval and the principal value branch of tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and the principal value branch of cosecant inverse x is closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0 here is its proof cosecant x is equals to 1 upon sin x as we know that cosecant x is the reciprocal of sin x and denominator can never be zero so here sin x cannot be zero when is sin x zero obviously it is at x is equals to zero so here x cannot be zero so the range of cosecant inverse x is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding zero now the other three functions which are cos inverse x secant inverse x and cot inverse x are also best friends they also have similar ranges and they always stay together so the principal value branch for cos inverse x is closed interval 0 to pi for cot inverse x is open interval 0 to pi and for secant inverse x is closed interval 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 it seems difficult but it is very easy so here is the proof for the principal value branch of secant inverse x as we know that secant x is equals to 1 upon cos x as it is the reciprocal of cos x and denominator cannot be zero so here cos x cannot be zero when is cos x zero it is at x is equals to pi by 2 so here x cannot be pi by 2 so its range is closed interval 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 now let's revise the principal value branch for sin inverse x is closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and for cosecant inverse x is it is closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding zero for tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 for other three trigonometric functions which are cos inverse x it is closed interval 0 to pi for secant inverse x 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 from uh, for cot inverse x is open interval 0 to pi so i hope you find uh, you found it easy it always seems difficult unless we try so thank you